Memorial Day weekend. It's a time for us to reflect on the sacrifices men and women made to ensure freedom in our great land. A point not lost on these native citizens who met recently to plant flags and remember those who gave so honorably. We have a duty and obligation, our societies, our clans. We're supposed to do this. We're supposed to honor those that have passed on. And I always feel like we're doing it for the entire tribe and all the communities out there. We felt like it was also the tribe's responsibility to participate in some fashion. And this is our commitment. We'll do it again next year. And it's our tradition. For some observers, like Ermeline Sykes, the day brought back painful memories of her brother who paid a heavy price for our freedom. My brother's name was Melny H. Dawes, and he lived in Watonga and joined the National Guards when he was 17 and went over with the 45th Division when it was activated. And he was killed June 16, 1952. It's really nice that they put something up like this to remember people who dedicated their lives to the armed forces and gave everything they had so that others could have the freedom we have in the United States. Historically, the American Indian has served at a greater rate per capita than any other ethnic group in the United States. Part of our culture is to remember those, those that are in service now or those that, that have served and are out here to remind people that, hey, you know, this is part of our culture. Somewhere in, in Indian country today, there's a teepee up and in that teepee, they're praying for all of our soldiers and sailors and seamen and airmen as we speak. We've been doing this every year, and that was one of the commitments that we made early on, is that we would, we would place flags of the veterans' graves because a lot of times it wasn't being done. I believe it's important for all of our children and all children to learn what it is to respect someone you don't know, and uh, to me that's a real test of, you know, your character. Mainly I always think about the guys that I served with and the guys that we lost and their families. I always think about their families. What are they feeling today? I hope they're having a good day. I hope they're not feeling too much pain because I don't think it ever goes away. <laughs> 